When you think about your body, it may come as a surprise that half of you isn't really you. By quantity, only about 50% of the cells you carry around are human. The rest are microorganisms, like bacteria, fungi, and viruses, living on or inside you. That may sound unsanitary, but most of them are either harmless or even beneficial. And new research shows that in our efforts to kill the bad germs, we are also killing too many of the good ones, and it's hurting our health. Scientific findings have drawn connections between human microbiota to all sorts of diseases from infectious ones to non-communicable ones and even psychiatric disorders. It's a rapidly developing field now. I think the excitement is to really understand what all these germs are and what they do. It's like another organ almost. The average human body harbors about 38 trillion microbiota of all kinds, and they mostly live in the gut which is exactly where scientists have begun altering conditions in the search for more breakthroughs. Researchers stress that individual therapies will take time to develop, but fecal transplants have already shown promise in treating the dangerous bacterium C. difficile, a pathogen often contracted in hospitals that causes diarrhea and kills about 30,000 people a year in the U.S. But beyond specific treatments, one aspect of our microbiome has become clear. Diversity matters. Diversity uh, confers a certain amount of flexibility and strength onto the microbiome. The microbiome seems to have an effect on modulating your immune system and preparing you for the many types of proteins and allergens that you're going to encounter in your life. People in developed countries have significantly less diversity in the microorganisms that populate their bodies compared to people in less developed places. The leading cause is thought to be an excessive use of antibiotics in both medicine and agriculture. The most important thing to remember is that for your own sake and for the sake of all of us, it's really important not to overuse antibiotics. People in developed countries also spend less time outdoors and have less exposure to animals, factors that may decrease diversity of microbiota. Studies suggest that growing up with a dog lowers a kid's chances of having asthma. So go ahead, play in the dirt, and don't be afraid of some dog kisses. It's good for you.